Hi, I'm Troy C. Johnson, and I'm a senior at Cesar Chavez Public Charter School for Public Policy at Parkside Campus. I realized I was smart when I was in elementary school. I realized I was different in middle school. I realized I was a genius in high school. Troy's zest for life and his passion for learning it's not only unique, it's inspiring. I got a tattoo right here that says the little poet that could. Troy's main way of dealing with everything is through his writing. He loves to express himself in essays and poetry and short stories. DC isn't, isn't what a lot of people think it is. This is a very, very, very valid city. Troy is the definition of beating the odds. Troy is a young black man from Northeast Washington, D.C., where poverty and crime and hopelessness can sometimes overtake who you are. And Troy has decided that that's not his story. My mother had me when she was 17. And my father, he, I'm not saying he wasn't there, but he had a lot of restraining orders. He's seen a lot, family tragedy close family members, in and out of jail, very close family members. My father always made promises that he that couldn't be killed, and I got used to him. In elementary school, I was smart because what they taught me, and I remembered it. I never looked at school as a thing I should be afraid of. I embrace it because I can finally show my worth. Middle school, I realized that's when I started digging deep into my writing and stuff like that. I was like, okay, I'm different. He came here in the seventh grade, and he uh, lived with his grandmother once he came to this school. She made me go to church. She made me do go to Bible studies. And she's done a lot for me, you know, basketball, pay for my basketball stuff, make sure I'm always good. The first thing I noticed about him is his love and his passion for the game. I fell in love with it. I only played it because my friend played it, and I just wanted, I didn't want to be left alone. Troy wouldn't leave the gym. Troy is a team player. He's not the kid that's going to be upset. He's not the kid that um, cares about how many minutes he gets in the game. 10th grade in biology class, I found out a phone call. My, my father told me that don't come home. Troy's uncle, whom he was close with and that lived in the house, was murdered while Troy was at school by his cousin, the uncle's son. He came over crying to the schools. He just thought about all the greatness that his uncle had within him and his hard work and his work ethic. And he said, I got to carry that on for the family. The very next day after it happened, Troy was late. All his clothes had to be rewashed because it was a crime scene. But he came to school and he never missed a day after that. And I just thought that like, if I were him, would I have been that strong? He's been able to keep it moving no matter what and see the bigger prize. And um, it's just extraordinary to see his uh, maturation and his growth. Yeah, I'm gonna study film and screenwriting, creative writing, and dramatic writing. Troy is going to be a basketball player at someone's university. Troy is going to be a writer. College is everything because he wants to be able to change the world. Sixth grade, I thought I was going to do it through basketball and spread the love of Jesus Christ through basketball and the gospel. By the time I realized, writing going to touch more people. Filmmaking going to touch more people. He really sees himself as a change agent, and he accepts that role. Every diamond has to go through the fire. I think Troy can write his own ticket. Pressure make diamonds. I just love him. Um, I love the young man he has become. I'm not finished, so I'm, I'm still in the fight. 